Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a special technique to hack a flash game. First, here are some useful tools for hacking games. Uh, first, there are the very well known cheat engine, Auto Hotkey, Mozilla Firefox with the Auto um, Jumper Data plugin, a simple calculator, and a sorting uh, SWF decompiler. You can use any one uh, as you want. Uh, I'm gonna put uh, the link for uh, this software in the description. So now let's see the game I want to hack. So it's just a simple game about solving equations. So we use the left and the right to move the arrow and space to choose uh, an answer. So here the answer is uh, 7. 7 is here. So when uh, the game is over we have uh, information that are sent, that are like this one. Uh, so we can see that is... Uh, I'm going to close this first. Uh, that uh, this information contains a lot of... Uh, this file contains a lot of uh, data. Uh, pages and pages, hundreds of pages uh, are long. You might ask me where I got this uh, this file. It's uh, when I used to play this game online. I used the uh, Mozilla with tempered data to capture what my PC sends uh, to the server. So here is an explanation of what uh, this uh, file contains. It contains email, date plus time of uh, starting the game and when it ends, and score which is encrypted plus the history. This history contains uh, random numbers plus keys that were pressed and other things like uh, wrong and, uh, and uh, correct answers. So this history is uh, a nightmare for hackers. So if we try to hack this game using the techniques that uh, are uh, available on uh, YouTube, you will be certainly, uh, certainly banned. Uh, that's because the score will not match what uh, the history is telling. So the checker will certainly ban you. So to uh, to make this uh, sound uh, more real, uh, I'm using this uh, technique. I'm going to show you uh, right now. So first, let's start uh, the game again. And I'm going to use Chat Engine just to capture the locations that are useful to me. So first, I have to uh, find the uh, to choose the the flash player first. Then I have to find the location, the memory location where the correct value is located. To the correct value is three. I choose the correct value is still three. The correct value is eight. And it is this one. Then after I have to capture the address where this one, this value is located on. I'm going to put a new scan and choose the correct answer, which is eight. then seven. I'm choosing seven. Then six, and it's this one. Then the same goes for the next position. New scan contains zero. I'm going to answer with eight. Next value contains eight. I'm going to answer with seven. Next value contains three, and it's this one. Then eleven. New scan about eleven. Correct value is three. Next value is forty-two. It's this one. And uh, next we gonna make a new scan about zero. Correct value is this, and then twenty-two. Correct value is twenty-five. Forty-six. It's this one. Finally, I don't think I'm gonna have the time. I'm gonna replay this again. I'm gonna put a new scan that contains 3. So 3, I'm gonna answer with 8. Next value is 9. Still have 2 values. Correct answer is 9. This is 
necessary on this. So I finished with this uh, game uh, since I have all the, the location memories I need. I'm gonna just input them in the the Ocho Hotchkey file I already made. This script uh, is, uh, looks like this. I have to input just uh, this uh, information. Then uh, you can. I'm gonna upload this file uh, this, in the description. You can uh, see it more closely. Most of the things are self-explanatory. You can also change things and uh, arrange things as uh, you want. So I'm gonna use the information I got from changing. I'm gonna change these addresses. These addresses here. As they always change when I start the game, so I'm gonna do this for everything. Copy and paste. So this uh, variable contains. Uh, the value, uh, uh, the correct value that uh, we must input to have the correct answer. This V0 contains the value that is located in the far left corner, uh, and same goes until value 4. So here is the algorithm. I'm gonna save this, and uh, we still need one thing. Uh, it's to uh, I forgot to show you one last thing. <coughs> I'm using this uh, read memory, which is a function. Uh, I got this. Uh, I just uh, downloaded this function from uh, Hotjo Hotkey forum. You can see I'll, I get a lot of stuff from uh, stuff from there, and I located it in uh, Hotkey directory. So I have to update it as well. So it looks like th this. I have only to change this number. This number corresponds to the process ID of my game. So the process ID of this game is this one. This one is written in hexadecimal. I have to convert it to decimal. So it's 11. F9 I convert it to this number which is um, 4600 4, 4, I save this and close all this stuff and now it's gonna see if uh, what we have done is working gonna start the game and I'm gonna execute this file and now I hope it, it will work so as we can see here I'm not pressing any key it's doing it by its own the hot hot key is uh, <coughs> just emulating uh, my behavior and uh, when uh, the game ends it will uh, have all the history like if we played uh, on our own so it's very hard to detect and uh, I ha hope you like this technique it uh, can change from one game to the other <coughs> so finally uh, I have made this vi video for education purposes I also <coughs> want to make uh, developers aware of this problem if uh, they want to to make a more secure game in the future. If you have comments, please write them down. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.